because he came in behind me after I got here. Hits his horn at me and, and uh, points at me. <laughs> and it says, I'm going right there to the door. Knob. I'm like, okay. Good morning. Gonna get a quick workout in. And uh, look at these load boards. Slept right outside of Charlotte last night. Just got a little tired from the long trips back to back. So I looked at the low board this morning and uh, have one right here. It's about 30 miles that way. We're right off 85 right now. And um, it's going right back home for 800 bucks, I said. So they said, sure, go get it. I said, all right, let's go get it. Set your engine prime before you start. Let's get some air in those tanks. See you later, 03333 US Express. Good hanging out with you. This is a place I like to stop before I get home a lot. Get past Charlotte traffic get over here because uh, Charlotte traffic can be bad in the morning, especially that interchange coming off 77, 85 to 85. So, it's a little secret I got there of a place I stopped. And the next exit right here is where we head north for 30 miles and exit 106. It's a coffee of pilot. This is straight through. What a straight through is means you can pick it up and drop it same day. So, we're going this way anyways. We're going to pick it up and then, um, Hopefully get out the truck pretty quickly. Get back home, maybe rent that little uh, skid steer and dig up our hot tub lot or hot tub pad, sorry. But first, let's get some coffee. FedEx, always Indy 500. Oh, and by the way, tell me what you think about this logo, guys. Uh, jo Jonah, thank you so much for sending this over, man. Uh, we're thinking about a new logo for our, uh, yeah, trademark for our, um, 3BB channel, Three Brother Builds. And uh, Jonah knocked it out with this, I think. Let me know what you think. Pretty dang cool, right? What made me think about it was the FedEx truck passing me like like Earnhardt would. Uh, rest in peace from Daytona. But yeah, I like it. Let me know what you think. If you ever go to exit 106, be quick on the brakes because the truck entrance comes up at you out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like a little separate driveway right there uh, off to the uh, right so be ready for that let's see oh we got an open lane right there here we go like a glove next to ABC Atlantic bulk carrier All right. we'll get the windshield clean and get some coffee oh go look. <sighs> get some coffee in our uh, just truck and tumbler Check these out on JustTruckin.shop. I love it. Keeps it nice and cold, or nice and warm in this case. A little bit of Colombian. All right. Energy, huh? Intense energy. That would be T-dubs. All right, let's put some ice in this thing. Never seen this thing. But hey, why not, right? Let's go get some ice and some creamer. Ice all melted. Ready to go. Make sure you grab some fresh fruit too. Let's find a good one. Thank you. Alrighty. It's always hard to remember, but I sometimes remember to get a little bit of hot water, just hot water in there, and have these in your truck. Get a low bill in the morning. Uh, broker just called and said, Hey, what's your ETA? I said, Maybe about 11 30. I said, Okay. GPS is saying cross over the tracks. I said, Okay. All right. Just had another truck come over too, so I was like, okay, that's where we going. Carolina Crossings Restaurant, looks good. You gotta come wide, otherwise you're gonna take out some signs over there. Okay, let's get up here. Let's talk a little bit about loads, guys, negotiations. And uh, there are a lot of loads back on the boards, which is a good sign. Stuff's moving around again. <clears throat> um, but this load right here, 
was listed at $350 for 90 miles and we booked it for 800 so over 100% uh, or doubled over doubled the uh, the rate cut so it's always a starting point when you see these look these apps and a price that they're offering you might think oh man that's 600 bucks on uh, 68 miles or whatever but is it a next day delivery that kind of stuff like always try to do at least a thousand dollars per day hopefully you can include fuel in there and get about 1150 or so or 11 so that's my knowledge to you guys whenever you see the price on it that's a starting point that's a negotiation rock bottom that's like if it's a car salesman and they're asking thirty three thousand dollars and the car's worth twenty five thousand dollars they're trying to get the sucker trying to get the guy that's just gonna jump on and say yeah that's the car i want that's the color of the i rock i've always wanted and i'll pay that price right now but you got to negotiate it guys so 350 bucks we got it for 800 bucks it's a straight through taking us right back to the house this will be our last load before we get on the lake and t-dubs is calling me so let's see what she wants and she wanted to ask me what drinks I wanted for the uh, beach or lake house we're going to this weekend. But trying to do a couple of vacations because my oldest is going into school on the 17th of August. It's kind of a kind of a big thing for T-Dubs and I. We our kids grow up really fast. I'm sure any of you that have kids have realized that. And we've taken notes from you guys and realized we want to enjoy as much as we can of it because these small days of of the little smiles and us being the world isn't going to be there forever so we're trying to live that up right now that's why i book the loads how i book them and always try to get back to them and and it's been a huge blessing with youtube uh they've really helped supplement our income and let us do these kind of things so that's all thanks to you guys and we really appreciate you and uh, god bless you and just can't can't thank you enough for making our life what it is and i'm glad you guys enjoy what i do on a daily and a little bit of what our uh our boys go through and, and what my wife helped me do with the business but yeah, that uh, emblem, that little uh, trademark from earlier, that's awesome. So, Jonah, thanks so much, man. I think we're going to start doing maybe just a couple t-shirts to start off. Maybe something with the screaming chicken on it. I don't know. Um, but that would be 3BB, 3 Brother Builds. The description to that channel is right there, or the link to that channel is right there in the description. If you click that little arrow above below this video, you can check them out. Give them a follow if you like that kind of stuff. If you don't, don't worry about it. Look at that Toyota. Teal green Toyota with a lot of uh, oil well burn off problems but hey it's a cool truck let's get up here to rutherford north carolina exit 178 and then we take a slight right turn we are just right above spartanburg pretty much right now um up 26 like towards asheville towards hendersonville but closer to spartanburg than either one of those so not too bad off but we have to go probably like kind of back to the top of greenville and over to clemson area that's what the city i'm delivering is seneca that's where Clemson University is. That's actually where the lake house is. <laughs> We're going to tomorrow, so <laughs> might go check out the lake house before we get there. But it's a quick, easy uh, pace for my fuel up and back from PA, which was about 500. Well, we, we're still over a quarter tank right now, so we spent 640, save a little over 500 bucks in fuel. Really wish I could have got something back down, but a little bit hands tied with the apps and the insurance, and uh, the rates are just not great. But the rates are coming back up. Everybody, stick to your guns, know your worth, and uh, get paid for what you've done. If you set up your own company, or if you're an OO, if you're an owner operator, if you're leased on with somebody, tell your dispatcher if you're not booking your loans, like, hey, we need to try and get maximized profits out of here. Because we've got a lot riding on our shoulders. So let's get to this pickup first. I've never been here before, obviously. Looks like where Land Air is coming out of, that's where we're going in. We're looking for Allied Die Company. We'll hold up traffic for you, buddy. Come on out. There you go. Okay, we got FedEx coming after him. Anybody else? Should we get it? All right, let's get in here. Hopefully no one else comes out. Yeah, we're good. Da, 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 da. Okay, no semi-trucks. Ship and receiving ahead. Okay, okay. I like how the picture of the truck they have on there's a cab over. Nice. Okay, okay. There we go. I see the entrance. One truck already staged. And they asked like how how long was it gonna be before we got here, so what are they waiting for us? Dock A, dock B and C. Uh Doc, I'm supposed to go to. Is there anybody in the security office? It's a big negative. I don't know what Doc I'm supposed to go to. I don't want to 
pull behind that guy if that's not where I'm supposed to go. So let's stay left over here in case we're going to B or C. We'll talk to some people. Yeah, leave it so we can make that right turn still if we need to. I think I see another Cobra. Let's go check it out. Backing up, so yeah, look at that cobra. Are you, are you okay with me there? Where are you going? I would to go back that way, but I might back in. Is this where you check in, or is it back around the back? I got a big cobra around the back. It depends what you got, I guess. Who'd you talk to right here? Yeah, All right, thanks, man. <sighs> pretty, pretty. Cobras, I loved how they did the fog lights, kind of like made it look like the front of a, of a snake. Let's go talk to somebody. I got one going to Ford Water in the state of South Carolina. I got pulled in, but I stand by the security deck. Okay. Yeah, he's waiting for us. He's like, go to Doc C, man. You're my live load. I was like, all right, man. Let's get down there. So he said, follow that fence line, and there'll be an open dock at the bottom. Okay. All the way down. Follow the fence line. Okay, we got some docks on here. Which one do they want us in? I don't want If that guy was here first, I don't want to pass him up, but we also have a uh, load that is going straight through, so I don't know if he's got a load to deliver tomorrow or what. It's a nice ram. I like those wheels and tires. But he's backing back up up there, so he didn't come all the way down. I don't know. Maybe he was just turning around so he could back into it. Who knows? Let's back into this door. How you doing, man? What are you guys, what are these? Like transfer cases? Uh, Pretty cool. And you guys make them here, you cast them? Oh, yeah. Nice, dude. And it's aluminum? Yeah, yeah, sir. Because they're going to Borg Warner, so they got to be like transfer cases or like case cases for transmissions. Pretty cool. But that's what I'm getting. Cool, man. Do you need a load number or anything? It's going to Seneca? You know what load number it is? Uh, I can pull it up again. Is that the extra depth? Good. Yep. Those it, things, it's okay. I like it. They run forever. You got a 4.7 or the 5.7? 5.7. That gas mod's bad. Uh, yes, no, yeah, I had cool. a 4.7. It was okay. <laughs> but I just put my side on the dirt. Yeah. I put them behind, I can't tell I got it. Okay, exactly. They're, they're geared right. Exactly. Matter of fact, all right, brother. He said, I need one strap. Go ahead and, uh, the, the company wants one strap to the second to last row. I said, okay, here you go, man. Nice, dude. Nice talking with you, man. 
So T-Dubs just sent me these videos. Thanks so much, guys. You guys are the best fans ever. Oh, good to go. Hey, all right. I guess I'm good to go. What's going on, man? What's going on? All right. Sign and date, please, sir. All right, right away, right, right here. Yeah, anyway. So, okay, right anywhere down there. Today is the good old 29th, 28th? 29th. I think it's 29th. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Going to Board Warner by Clemson University. Yep. Oh, I just broke the pen. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, all right. Let's pop that back. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? You too, man. No seal. I put my own on. Clark? No seal. Put my own on. Okay. Cool, man. Thank you. All right. We're loaded. But yeah, check out these. Uh, Videos. Thanks a lot, guys. I haven't watched the video yet to see who sent it, but check these out. What's in there? What'd you say? <laughs> what? What in the world? It's food. Oh my goodness! It's food. Oh my goodness! Food. Check Go these food. snacks out. Hey, look at the bag at the bottom. There's a bag oh at the bottom. Oh my goodness! Hey, take all the food out. Food. Food. Take all the food. What is this? Isn't that cool? They gave us food. Oh my goodness. I think there's a little letter, so I'm going to get that out and read that and check out what this is. Oh my goodness. What do you say? Thank you. What do you say? Thank you. All right, let's check this note out real fast. Can I open it? Can I open it? Yeah, sure. If you want to try, try to open that up. See if you can get that open. I'm going to check this note out real fast. I only got one hand, and then we'll come back. What is that? Is it a shirt? Oh no, stop. That is so funny. <laughs> don't be a Richard. I don't think the kids get that, but that is so funny. Oh, they're matching. Guys, they're matching. Oh, that is awesome. All right, again, let me check out this note really fast. That is hilarious. What is that? It's a pumping thing. Oh. It's an air pump. All right. I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this big That's pretty cool. All right. Let's see if there's a note inside. This is so amazing. A $25 Starbucks card and Walmart card. That warms my heart so much. Thank you so much. And this says, Katie, guess what I hauled across the country? I have a feeling it was um, Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> I love it. It says... Um, I saw Tank eating this stuff on a video um, that Justin made. The shirt for Justin may be big, but I ordered it that way, not knowing how much it would shrink. And it says, oh, by the way, you'll have to wash these down with something. Um, I also purchased these. Thank you. So This is so funny. Thank you so much. And they're matching. We're going to have to match one day. Um, I, and it says you can uh, see the Starbucks amount and the Walmart card is for the same amount. It's, that's so, so kind of you and just so generous. And thank you so much. We cannot wait to pop these babies open and, also, and try them out. What do you tell me? Regular goldfish right here. Yes, you're so excited about the regular goldfish. So thank you so, so much. I think that says Jeff Smart. So thank you, Jeff. Oh, you're amazing. And whoever sent the Can pump, thank you so much. Can I hold them? Yeah. You want to open it up? What do you say? Thank you. A toothless boy. What do you say? Um, I have a lost tooth. You have a loose tooth. I have a loose tooth. Yes, you're gonna lose one soon. Tank's sleeping, so, but thank you so much. So it looks like Jeff Smart. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much. You know, way, you know the way to T-Dub's heart and to my kids' heart. Starbucks and Goldfish. They love Goldfish, so God bless you. It's really cool to see, uh, I guess, America, or at least North Carolina, South Carolina, kind of uh, getting back in the swing of things because um, this is what we need. We need more production out of our factories, making more motors and stuff from Borg Warner. So I don't know why, but they strapped, they strapped the second to last one, whatever. That's what he said. He's like, I don't know why they tell us to do this, but they want us to strap the second to last one, whatever. We're going to Borg Warner we got to right now and, and went straight through. We get there about three o'clock, about 2.45. So that is good. Everything's looking good. Let's close it up and seal it up. And get over by Clemson. It's right. I love this map or uh, GPS. It it's literally right next to where our lake house is, about 15 miles by Clemson. All right, let's get a seal. T's and P's for the log man. Getting a little inspection here. We're getting on 74. 
over to uh, kind of Hendersonville, and then we're going to shoot down through group back side of Greenville and out towards Clemson University. Drop this and get back home and be done. Vacay mode with my toothless kid. You might have saw in that video. Good old Cash. Love that boy. Love all my boys. Tank was sleeping. Those are some cool shirts that we're going to maybe wear with the link. If you're ever coming up, you need to deliver in Asheville and you're coming from um, Charlotte, anywhere over there, um, and you have to come up 26. If you can come up to 74, you could branch off there like Kings Mountain area. Um, uh oh, we got a land star that got pulled over. Looks like he's getting out now. Just edging up. I don't know what he's doing. Land Star, but anyways, um, it's a lot less of a grade. The grade is right back there behind us to the left. Now it's on a downhill, but the 74, it's way more gradually. You know, it's pretty pretty big grade if you're going the other way. So, a little fruit for thought. Beautiful up here. We still got that haze in the sky, but take 74. Look it up on the map. You can Kings Mountain area. You can branch up, and it just kind of angles it up here. So. Keep that in mind, food for thought. You're still gonna catch a little bit of grade, but not as bad. You got cut off about half of it. Um, but it's 93 degrees out here, so whenever I'm pulling a little bit of a grade like that, I turn my windows, I roll my windows down, I turn my AC off. Oh buddy, oh buddy, what are you doing? Uh, just to help the motor, because that's how I blew my motor back in uh, 2019, was going up here in the, in the winter time, and I blew a, uh, dropped a liner, so. I've nursed it for about a month and got into Hay Guy Diesel. I'll check them out at the end of the video. I'll plug them uh, again. I've plugged them in a while, but they're great, great people who actually are the ones that kept me in business and helped me rebuild my motor by myself. Let me use their shop. I did everything, all the work my, my own two hands. But whenever I needed a torque spec or something that I didn't understand, they were there to help me. So it was real nice of them. Let me put, put me between two bay doors. It was cold, <laughs> like 15 degrees sometimes uh, in January of 2020, right before COVID. But got it done. If you want to see those older videos, check them out. They're somewhere back there in the beginning of my uh, videos back in the 20, 2020 era. Right now we're going to catch up to uh, Hendersonville, shoot down 25 and come through Greenville. DOT is in full force today. Be careful out there guys. I know I think they said there's a blitz coming on the 26th through the 27th, but uh, I've seen three guys pull over now. So. Be careful out there. Keep your speed down, keep your weights right, and uh, keep your clock right. Nice little bridge over a gorge down there. Probably some water at the bottom of it, a little river. We're almost to our exit. Beautiful day. I really wish the skies were clear, but I understand we got some fires going on. Let's do a quick stop at the Sphinx, get the bathroom, and the chicken sandwich. All right, minivan, coming through in Cadillac, I'm gonna go behind you. Nice, perfect timing for a red light. And this thing just got all remodeled. Let's check it out inside. If you ever want like a quick gas station sandwich, if the Sphinx, not all the Sphinxes have the kitchens in them, but the ones that do, their chicken is actually pretty dang good. Let's go check it out. My goodness, it's a hot one today, a little bit. A little bit humid, a little bit hot. 93 degrees. Yeah, they were construction, putting all this new concrete down out here, and it's a lot nicer now. Yeah. There you go. But these sandwiches right here, oh my goodness. Oh, they don't look like they have any right now. We'll have to order one. You can use a good old kiosk. Right here. Du, du, du. Chicken. So typically we go left right there and that takes me right back to my house. But we're gonna venture out 35 miles to the right. Go right by the lake. <laughs> and right by Clemson University. So making good time. Should be there about 3, 315. Alright, here we go. We are in Clemson now, the city of Clemson. To our left is the whole campus all their little downtown and then we're about to go over right here Lake Hartwell. If I can show you to the left you can see the stadium actually. Go Death Valley and then up to the right up there 
uh, it doesn't connect fully, but it connects by a little bit of a waterway. It's Lake Kiwi, and that's where our lake house is, about 10 miles to the right. So uh, I thought I'd show you guys that. Pretty cool. Real, Clemson University is right there on that lake. Beautiful campus. You can actually see the lake from the stadium. Uh, just a great facility. Uh, I was never a Clemson fan, never even knew where it was until I married T-Dubs and got to know it really well. But right up here, three miles on the left, is going to be our drop. Yeah, Clemson University, check it out. It's right on the border of Georgia and South Carolina. Well, I just got here, and uh, this guy must run this route a lot because he came in behind me after I got here. Hits his horn at me and, and uh, points at me, <laughs> and it says, I'm going right there to Dorna. I'm like, okay, man, well, I just got here. I was going to go check into uh, receiving and see where Dorna. I'm supposed to go in, so my bad, dude. Don't be that guy, guys. Don't be the, don't get that label of, uh, of ST, good old super trucker, and just thinking everybody else is an idiot. Some people haven't been here ever, man. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, this is your dedicated route, but I just pulled in trying to stay out of the way. All right. Good old glory. Yeah, we're right past uh, good old Clemson. Some power lines. s and Express. Nice truck, looks familiar. Yes, he's in a hurry. Maybe he runs the same thing over and over again. Who knows? Who knows? But Board Warner receiving and visitor entrance. Oh, that flag looks pretty. That's a huge flag, too. Let's see what we got. This is not. Clarios, this is Borg Warner. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, man. All right, so I'm gonna get you in the back of the building. Other side? Yeah, to get there, you can go down here and turn around, because I would imagine you're facing that way. I'm facing that way, yep. Yeah, go down there and turn around. Okay. When you're coming back this way, it's the last turn before the train track. Okay. When you get back there, uh, on the first corner, I got one dot for all box up. Okay, that's the one? All right, man. Thank you. Oh, that one, sorry. <laughs> Will you back over there or somebody else? Okay, thanks, man. Well, you heard the man. Other side of the building. Do a little Yui Yui turn. And uh, he said go out and take a last right before the train tracks. Let's get that done. No, uh, I think train tracks up there because there's the RR written on the ground, but I don't actually see any train tracks, so I'm guessing this is it. He said there'd be one door, one door open. That's got to be it, 16. Got to have enough room to back turn around here because, yeah, we should have enough room. Looks like they're building all, yeah, we can back up. Turn around right there, looks like 16's the one, but there's also... 18 open, so I don't know. Well, let's see. I don't know what door to go through to talk to somebody. Do, 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 do. There's a little door on the side right there, but... And there's also a door over there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe 14 is what he's talking about. The one door by itself. Because there is one door right there. I guess I should have asked for a door number. There's a door open. Let's go see if that's what we're going to do. I don't know. One single door by itself. Back side of the building. Huh. I think we're in the right spots. Because that right there is what we got. Dude. Nice. Alright, I just need to find somebody. Is there a bell to ring? No. 
Stay in the cage. All right. I wonder if he told that guy that we were coming. Who knows? Hopefully he did. They have a lot of transfer cases in here. Stood down there for about 10 minutes though and uh, yelled a couple times, but nothing. So I'll walk down to the next door, see if there's anybody over here that will see me. Well, those people over there just looked at me and ignored me. So I'm gonna walk down to this guy. I don't know what's going on. I think these are the finished products though. Transfer cases, looks cool. Heck yeah. Hello! Our uh, door right there is open. Okay. I was down at door 14 for about... I'm dropping off empty transfer cases. But I was down at door 14 yelling, but no one's there. Because I'm working over here. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I talked to the guy in there. Dropping off empty transfer cases. Dropping off empty, like uh, new new transfer cases. Okay, who, what, who, where did that come from? Rutherford, North Carolina. Okay. Where, where you doing no problem. Thank you. Ooh, it's sticky. Door was just propped, propped open. So, good thing I walked in there. Uh, he is loading that golf line. So once he's done with that one, it gets us. So cool. Just, <coughs> just wish that the uh, guy at the front that checked me in would, would say, hey, there's one guy back here. He's way down at the other side. And he'll come get to you. So we got it figured out. He knows we're here, which he probably already did. But just the, the confirmation, you know, maybe have a, a bell down there or something. So we stuck our paperwork in the one of the holes of the fences. So we'll go grab that just so... Uh, doesn't get lost in translation or the wind takes it out somewhere. There we go. Well, whenever you uh, get some time. And this is why you ask for uh, way more than $350 in this kind of loads, guys, because it uh, 
could take you a while to get unloaded. It wasn't that bad getting loaded, but unloaded was a bit. And uh, that guy's ignored me too. Yes, sir. Let's get back in our truck. Okay, they finished him up, so awesome. And they paid us $450 for that little uh, overweight thing. So not what I really wanted, but at least it was something. Hopefully that just lets that shipper know. Don't do that again, please. Well, my goodness, it's a hot one out there. 97 on the uh, dash right there. Um, but yeah, we'll just hurry up and wait for this one. Which is no big deal, he's loading somebody else. I just like them to know, or whoever is gonna be unloading me to know that I'm here, so. We are here, get unloaded, head back to 45 minutes, back to home, start the weekend, so. God bless you guys, thanks for everyone who subscribed, thanks for helping the channel, thanks uh, Jeff Smart for sending those packages. My boys get a kick out of it, and those cookies look pretty dang good, so. Teasing beats for me getting unloaded quickly, and teasing beats for all you guys out there, and I hope this air clears up soon enough, because. Pretty cool seeing that Clemson Stadium. That's what that the zoom shot was on the uh, drone footage. And the other zoom shot, that's the lake we'll be at this weekend. And that area is probably pretty much where our lake house is. So pretty cool. Blessings to all you guys. Uh, check out just trucking.shop, of course. Let's get this uh, over so you can see our wonderful blanket, our hard hat. We don't have hard hats in the store. We probably should. But um, yeah, giving away a truck in December. Every $5 you spend on those. We'll be going towards that. We've got new shirts coming out. I will probably do a promo video tomorrow morning just so we can knock that out before we go to the lake house. We'll be checking it for and uh, look for that. If I can get teed up and I need to coordinate on it, we got some cool footage ideas. So, love you guys. God bless. And we'll see you this weekend. talking about them somewhere in this video so i'm gonna put this at the end of the video here they are hey guy diesel it's their phone number griffin georgia they helped me do my in frame in six days and anything you need they can help you get done great prices on the parts oem parts mostly dealing with cummins but they can do anything for you god bless and thanks hey guy for helping me out